Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky 4. Promise revisited. I almost said absence of detention yet again. <coughs> so, uh, in the last episode, we took over the Information Bureau and we, uh, we got a measle to join the party. Uh,. The typo has been corrected, and things are looking pretty up for the Hades party. Let's carry on, see what's up. Hey, what's with the long face? Tired? Ate too many sardines? Got sardine bones stuck in your teeth? I'm not tired. I could never eat too many sardines, and the bones have already been taken care of. I'm just thinking over some things. Can you be quiet for a while? He's thinking about his girlfriend. Think thinking things over? You? Have you ever done anything that wasn't spontaneous? This isn't like you. Hey, you! Come over here. Fuka what knows what's hey, up. Stop pulling me! You idiot! Don't you get it? He's thinking about that angel girl. The angel? You mean the angel of avarice? Oh, he still hasn't gotten over the fact that he let her go. Well, she did end up stealing all the money from the information bureau. <laughs> Man, her greediness is the stuff of legend. You're such a child. That's not why he's so out of it. Love must have something to do with his attitude. I can totally sense it. Love? That's a final boss's arch enemy. Tesco is getting excited! <laughs> if only a final boss could learn to use the power of love. <laughs> love between a demon and angel? <laughs> that hat must be rotten your brain. Especially when you're talking about THE Tyrant Valvatores! That's impossible! My brain is as fresh as it can be! But then, how did he know that angel's name? They must have known each other in the past! So? Well, that doesn't mean they were in love! Desco is suspicious, especially since the Tyrant let his prey run away so easily. Big Sis's theory is right. Desco stakes her reputation on it! Well, it's definitely weird, but... so... is that what love is? It's love. L-O-V-E. I see. You know what? I'm starting to think you two are right. Plus, Mr. Valvatora shouted that she was supposed to be dead. <gasps> that means they were separated by death. That was their dramatic reunion. Desco can't... Desco can't... Desco can't stand this as a final boss! It has struck her heart! Forbidden love between a demon and angel! <laughs> My dream is getting way more exciting! As long as it doesn't end with both of them dying. You're all delusional. Calm yourselves, you little bitches. <gasps> you said a bad word. Rip your tongues out and feed them to the sludges if you don't! Somehow that doesn't sound like a joke when it comes out of your mouth. Of course it doesn't. It wasn't meant as a joke. He means it, Big Sis. It would be very hard to eat without a tongue. Desco is scared! Hmm. You're nowhere close to being a final boss if you're really that scared! You're not one to talk. Your voice and your knees are shaking like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> that angel was just a common thief. Her presence poses no risk to our goals. Right, my lord? Hmm? Indeed. However, we can't ignore this matter either. If she's after the Netherworld's money... We should ignore her. It is your duty to ignore such futile matters in favor of keeping your focus on the big picture. 
I see. If you insist, then I agree. So, what shall be our next step? I already have something in mind. Search, which Sir Fenric ordered us to undertake, we suggest you move on to the mid-level demon area, dude. If you can bring them under your control, you'll gain the support of all the independent voters of the mid and lower levels, dude. That includes over half the Netherworld supporters. And that's all I got, dude. With that being said, what do you think, my lord? Mid-level demons? That may actually require a bit more effort this time. Yes, we're politicking again. The Corruptorment has put a bounty on our heads after our invasions of the Plebeians and the Information Bureau. I expect the Corruptorment will intensify their efforts against us from now on. Bounty? Seriously? We're wanted now? Destrofield's one step closer to becoming a final boss. <laughs> wanted? I bet they're still calling me the fake a measle! Bounty, huh? Interesting. So, how much are we worth? 10,000 hell, my lord. That's not very much. 10,000? That's all? Those bastards! How could they? Make them regret putting such a low bounty on us? They're probably just broke. But it's <laughs> motivating. I'm fine with you keeping it that way. Indeed. Then let's go to bring Hades to the Netherworld and teach every living creature a lesson. Okay, to become the Netherworld president. To become a magnificent final boss. To become a great demon and make father proud. Their goals are completely different from one another. That doesn't matter. No matter our goals, there's only one path we each can take. We are more united than ever. To fulfill each of our goals and to usurp the regime, let us bring the bourgeoisie under our control. Episode 5, The Angel of Atlas. Cheat shop limit up. Information bureau can now be suggested. Okay. First, let's uh, let's figure out some of these items. Let's check out these new uh, these new things. Whoops. Information Bureau. Decreased damage received by members. That's pretty good. I don't really like that a low approval rating, though. This is... this. Uh, I think this lets us bounce uh, thrown allies off of enemies. It could be handy, but it's kind of situational and, again, kind of a low uh, approval rating. So, we're probably just going to ignore it. Let's talk to some dudes, see what's up. Hey, <laughs> he is so jealous. Mm, treasure chest. Oh no, we're going to face a million copies of Vyres. <laughs> the pretty blog. Gotta keep up with the trends, dude.
<laughs> uh, Fenrir got stuck again. <laughs> She's Wario! Or, uh, or Mina from Thonestuck. Or something. I don't even know. This the uh... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Carrying on. I did talk to you, right? I think it did. Scream Park. It's a pun. It rhymes with theme park, I guess. Guess we're gonna go find that damn fourth Chaos Emerald. Central Netherworld, an area brimming with demons of approximately mid-boss power levels. However, this area has gone through quite a transformation since the days it was a training ground for aggressive demons, working their way up to becoming upper-class demons and boss characters. This is the mid-level demon area. Huh, is this an amusement park? It looks like fun. Desco wants to play with Big Sis. Let's go on that ride! Idiots! Sure it looks like a ride, but it's actually a training machine! A training machine? How do you train with that? Well, I don't know either. Do you, Bowsy? There used to be this machine where you had to catch a giant hammer, a hydrochloric acid swimming pool, and other serious facilities. I'm assuming that along with the Corruptible, this training ground has become a joke of its former self. You, Lass, I couldn't help but notice your comment. Did you just call our lord? Oh, Bowsy? Who cares? This is just a dream. I don't mind having a demon friend. Friend? Don't be a fool. Neither our lord nor I need any human friends. Oh yeah, right. I bet you just want a nickname too. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a good fan fan? Hello puppy. Hello. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone walk all over you like that in quite a while. I find it quite amusing. It wouldn't hurt to get to learn about human beings by befriending them. My lord. <gasps> Jessica wants to be included too. Bowsy, fan fan. <sighs> If not for Lord Val's warm words, your lives would be at stake right now. Look! Those are the wanted people! Whoa! I was so absorbed in all the nickname talk that I didn't even notice they found us! Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. What a warm welcome. I'm starting to like being treated as a bounty. <laughs> as expected of the mid-level area, these enemies look more malicious than ever. Tesco can't wait to kill them all! They look pretty weak sauce to me. <sighs> Are these the rebels from Hades who tarnished the name of Sir Amisel? I knew it! I won't let that get to me. I'll prove to them that they're looking at the real deal with my own power. You bastards! You've got a lot of nerve posing into this bird. We're all dangerous demons here, you shameless thieves. Thieves? Are you talking about one of our invasions of the Corruptorman's territory? How dare you play innocent in front of us? You're conspiring to take all of our valuables with the help of the Angel of Avarice. Conspiracy? What did you say? I am not allied with any angel. I'll proudly admit all of the evil doings that I've done, but I won't admit to anything that I don't remember doing, good or bad. 
The Corruptorman's propaganda. Their influence remains strong, even without the Information Bureau. Anyway, conspiring with that angel? <laughs> what a heap of rubbish. Is this another one of my father's orders? Is he the one who's been behind this all along? He used to despise gamers. His motto was, fight violence with violence. Fair and square. Really? I've been trying to imagine what kind of a person he is by judging his dirty tactics. No. I know what kind of person he was. That's the main reason why I refuse to believe he was involved from the beginning. Huh? Was it just because you had blind faith in your daddy? So, something has changed recently. Which one of you wants to die first? I wonder if it was Chief Gant. He seems pretty suspicious. We get the bounty money, and we also get to do whatever we want with your money. <laughs> this is a once in an after lifetime opportunity. I'm taking all the prizes. You're right, this is rare indeed. In fact, it's so rare it had never happened, but you're still falling for it. <laughs> Hopeless idiots. However, as long as these idiots remain, it's an effective tactic. What shall we do, my lord? The Corruptorment is trying to pin all the blame on us. We already knew that the Corruptorment has always used such cheap tactics. This is no surprise to me. However, I can't help but feel a little hopeless when even these mid-level demons are foolishly falling for their propaganda. Then please, be an example for them by fighting against the Corruptorment as the most exemplary demon of all. A splendid idea. I shall show them what a fighting Prenny instructor can do! Um, my lord? How about doing it as a tyrant? <laughs> he likes pretty instructor though. It's rainbow board. We uh, we've got a rainbow board going on here. Attack up, death up, damage recovery. So uh, yeah, stay off the red panels. Red panels are bad. Got some cat sabers here. We also have a new enemy class, the Nekomata. You guys remember these guys from the second and third games, right? And the first game, too. They change to fists, they like martial arts, they counter special skills, and they are pretty strong attack wise. What say we deal with these guys first? Oh yeah, a measle. Uh, he's a guy. He's level thirty. He uh, does more damage with single target magic. He uh, he hasn't learned any elemental magic though, because <laughs> I was dumb. But oh well. Pair him up with Valva Torres. Or not. Let's send him over here! Pair him up with uh, you, I guess. I don't know. Forgive me. Oh, whoops, you're sitting on a red panel. I can't f Here I go. Alright, I'll send you instead over this way, I guess. We'll see what that does for us.
And he still gets the EXP for that. <laughs> Good times. Let's rip you. Uh... We can finally remove Angena from our party, uh, considering we now have 11 units again. And I like using main characters. Generic units I'm not really a big fan of. So let's uh, let's bring out our dudes. Let's bring out our dudes, dude. I can do anything in my dream. I shall elegantly be rid of you. Let's go attack. I should do the trick. <laughs> And here's the best heroes, uh... Ooh, they're special skills anyway. It does more damage to monsters if it's the same as the Sky of Three anyway. Oh! Ouch. Uh, wasn't expecting that. It's mostly because he's on the... No, he's not. He's not on the blue panel. He's nowhere. And I don't have any healers. That's that's great. All right, Amizel, you are going to stay back and use an item on yourself. Are we good? Oh, that was an SP item. I'm an idiot. Eh, whatever. Oh, but uh, hello, hello, yellow. No, you resist wind. So, uh, exploding fists. We'll do that. Um, That should be something. Okay, that was a thing. Let's get Valva Torres back over yeah. to where the action is. Well, I can reach with a blade rush if I do this. Gotta love it when you do an elaborate attack animation and then miss. Completely is the pinnacle of comedy. Oh, that's just lovely. No, you are not standing on a red panel. By no means, Mr. Person. I should have thrown a easel onto a blue panel. Maybe.
that because no entry panels, of course. The zombie lived. That's that's great. Let's do a soul reaper so Measle can at least get two kills. Because seriously, he's a pretty good uh, he's a pretty good unit. Very uh, very magical, but he's a little squishy, I guess. <laughs> it's head splitter. Desco can't attack without hurting Stella. Can't do that, so let's just have Fuka attack. 588, not bad. Well, I guess he could throw Desco. Did I say Porkle? Well, no way of knowing now, I guess. <laughs> Nekomata! Yay! How pathetic. Even if their corruption was born of greed, I can't believe that's all they've got. And they were only fighting against a pretty instructor, not a tyrant. The state of the corruptor men is worse than I thought. We must take control of the entire netherworld soon, or demons will go extinct. As you stated, the degree to which these demons have weakened is a severe matter that we can't overlook. There must be a problem with the fear energy that's supporting the netherworld. We have no time to waste. Fear energy? Okay, whatever. So, Valsy, tell us something about that angel. I thought I warned you that I'd rip your tongue out if you didn't stop with that nonsense. Is that what you want? It's not nonsense. Half the reason we were dragged into this mess is that angel's...